I will uh, proceed with a, a lesson and the, the person who really knows what, what this is about uh, will just have to come along with us. The first thing is the structure of a basic atom. A basic atom has a centre called a nucleus, made up of protons and neutrons, and round it are electrons, and everything that's in our world is made of atoms of this sort of form. The number of protons, shown in the diagram, a little pink ball, um, define what it is, and it always amazes me we can have such different things as gases, metals, rocks, carbon, coal, and the only difference in the material, if you like, is the number of protons in the middle of the atoms. If there's only one proton, it's the simplest material of all, it's hydrogen. If it has two protons, it becomes helium. And then three protons, it's a metal called lithium, which looks very much like aluminium, as does beryllium. It's another metal, beryllium, etc. up the scale to carbon has six protons and iron has 26 protons. And you carry on going and going until you get to the biggest atom there is around that's stable or fairly stable and that is uranium, and that has 92 protons in the middle. Now, the same element can have two forms. The number of neutrons attached to it uh, changes it, and it's called its isotope. So hydrogen has a proton and no neutron, normal hydrogen. If you have a glass of water, most of the water is made up of H2O, water and hydrogen together. Most of the hydrogen is simple hydrogen, and if you have a physics degree and you work at CCFE, you sometimes call it proteum, but everybody in the world calls it hydrogen other than those few. One in every 7,000 of the atoms of hydrogen in that glass of water, or bath water, or seawater, is deuterium, which is a proton with a neutron. Now this deuterium is one of the fuels we use in nuclear fusion, so we're interested in this. And as you can see, if one in every 7,000 of the uh, molecules has, or atoms has, deuterium in it, that means there's a lot of deuterium in the world, lots of it in the sea. 